In this video, I'm going to be showing how we use a high pass and a low pass filter to stylize a drum loop. Let's take a listen to our song. It's nice, but what I want to do is have a little bit more motion going on, and I don't want to add anything to the mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the McDSP Filter Bank F2. What this gives me is a high pass filter and a low pass filter. And it allows me to change the depth of the filter so I can emulate all sorts of vintage uh, synthesizer filters from Moog to Oberheim to you name it. It also allows me to change the amount of resonance I've got. So let's take a listen. I'm gonna solo my drum loop and play along with this. That really affects our drum loop. Now, as you see, this number here is in hertz, and that represents the point at which the filter starts to cut off. Now, you see, with a 6 dB per octave, it goes pretty high. It's still cutting off, it, but every octave up, it's cutting 6 dB. If we go to a 24 octave, it's very steep filter cutoff. Now, if we run our peak up, that's resonance. Now, you can hear that. It sounds really synthy when we sweep it here. I like that. That's cool. Let's back it off a little. And I'm going to hold down Control Option Command and enable automation for this. All right. Now I'll come over here to our automation controls and put us in touch mode. And I'll get my frequencies about where I want them to start. And I'm going to play the song and I'm going to sweep the filter all the way up into the intro. Cool, that's where I want it to stop. Now let's listen in context with the rest of the track. This is my heart. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, it's still a little bit full sounding, so I'm gonna use a high pass filter and I'm going to follow along. As you can see in this window, this shows you what frequencies are left. And we can really make this a narrow notch. Listen. This is my heart. That's awesome. Now, let me drop the volume down just a little bit. We can do that right inside of this plugin. And I think we'll have just the style that we're looking for. Let's take a listen. This is my heart. That's perfect. It gave me a nice loopy element, but it didn't overwhelm the intro of the song. It still let it be gentle. Later in the song, let's take a look at what we just did and see how it's going to fit in. I see that we've got a whole drum set that's going to pop in here. So let's take a listen to how it's going to work together. Here come the drums. At the bridge of this song, our drums drop out and our loop takes over. What we want to have happen is the space in the mix that the drums were taking up, I don't want to lose that. So we're going to ask the loop to do that by taking this high pass filter, which was cutting off all the low end of the loop. We're going to roll that down with automation. Now let's take a listen to how that works.
awesome. Now, I'm going to automate the low pass filter as well, just to give that a little bit more animation, a little bit more movement. does is it makes it a lot more interesting keeps it moving and that's how we use a low pass filter and a high pass filter to modify a loop